Hello and welcome to another YouTube video here on this channel. Today I am taking you on to see my productivity workflow and all the apps I use. I test a lot of apps and I make videos about a lot of apps, but there are a few ones I use myself every single day. But in order to understand my productivity workflow, we first have to start off by saying that I use a bullet journal and a commonplace book for a lot of different purposes so everything goes into my my bullet journal at first so every idea I have everything just goes into the bullet journal the first app I use is called Toos and Toos works similarly to my bullet journal every time I have an idea every time I have a thought every time I have something for a book I want to write or a book I'm writing so I write a lot of books I don't publish them but I love writing so I write a lot of books and chapters for my books everything just goes into two so I have quotes inside of here I have projects and uh, to-do lists for my different projects inside of here so for example if I have to work on a um, youtube video i will just write down in my bullet journal work on youtube video and the name of the video and i will have my checklist for my youtube video inside of twos i just like using this app because it is so easy to write things down and it doesn't take a lot of maintenance to keep the app organized which is a thing i need for sort of my filing cabinet for all of my thoughts and ideas and I uh, don't have any specific rules on what goes into twos and what goes into my bullet journal I just put it wherever I want it to at that specific time but most of it goes into my uh, bullet journal some of it goes into twos and this is actually my favorite productivity app so if you're looking to start somewhere I would recommend checking out twos because it is just so easy and intuitive to use and I have been loving it and they are updating it every single week or I would rather say every single day in the discord channel I see a bug fix or a new feature so uh, I'm really excited about this app and I would recommend it to a lot of people when it comes to my mail and my uh, cloud uh, cloud storage I use OneDrive as my personal cloud storage and I have an Outlook mail for calendar I use Morgan calendar because I have multiple ones I have one for work one for my freelance business one for my new job that I'm starting so I have a lot of uh, calendars I have one for my clothing brand as well and I just want to have all of them inside of one app so I use Morgan as my calendar my primary note-taking app is actually Heptabase and the way I do it is that every time an idea or a note is actionable from my bullet journal or from the Tooth app I put it inside of inside of Heptabase and I archive things but I have a lot of different projects uh, so if you jump into my map this is my areas resources and projects so I have an ongoing project here. I have my personal social media here. So I use Para in all of my digital tools because in my opinion, that's the best way to organize things. So Para stands for project areas, resources and archive. And uh, I have an archive tag. So everything that is archived, I just tag it with archive anyways. Uh, whenever a video like this commonplace video is actionable when I'm ready to do something with all of the notes I have I move them from my bullet journal or from my tooth app into heptabase and inside of heptabase I link different things together I look at my notes and just link them together build a good whiteboard then I will script everything inside of Microsoft Word and I will save it into one drive so that's si simply how I use different apps I do test a lot of different apps I tend to only use one app for a long period of 
time, I have been testing out a lot of different apps ever since I started bullet journaling because I started off with using Notion, but I grew out of Notion and that's the way I would recommend you to start your note taking journey. Just start with one single app, use it for as long as you can and at some point you will grow out of it and you will need to find a different app. But in my case, I tried a lot of different apps from January uh, to last the last couple of weeks. And I have decided to go for Heptabase because it fits all of my needs and it works perfectly with my sort of productivity workflow and workflow for all of my videos and everything I want to do. So again, every time an idea is actionable, it goes into Heptabase and it just stays into Heptabase. So all the notes that aren't actionable that I am not going to do anything with, I put inside of Heptabase. The last app I use called OneNote and I mainly use OneNote to save my bullet journal digitally uh, because I tend to write a lot, I have a lot of thoughts, I journal a lot and I really enjoy writing and enjoy taking notes. So I go through a bullet journal quite quickly and I just want it to be available everywhere I am. Also OneNote has OCR so I can search through my bullet journal. It doesn't work for my handwriting because I, I can't write. Uh, so if we take a look at my notes here, you can see that I'm not the best at writing. So a lot of my different notes aren't searchable, but as I get better at writing and I can actually read or others can actually read my notes, it will be able to be searchable inside of OneNote. But I don't use the search I mainly just use the use the index and find the right page so this takes a while to set up but in my case it is definitely worth it because I can have my bullet journal digitally as well so I used to bullet journal a couple of years ago I stopped then I have started again and I'm really enjoying it so that's all of the apps I'm using and remember that I have been doing this a lot and for a long time and I have finally figured out a system that works for me and I like to use specific tools for specific purposes. But I hope that gave you some inspiration to how you should or how you can, not should, how you can build your own productivity workflow. If you have any questions on how I use the different apps, how I set them up, please do comment down, down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again quite soon.